Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hackstruda here. In the previous lab, we have already solved this examining the database in SQL injection attack. We have solved all the labs in this particular uh, uh, link. But now, in, now we are going to uh, solve this particular thing to retrieve multiple values in a single column. Okay, and by now you would have understood this is very simple as this way but why do we need multiple values to retrieve in one single column let us access this lab quickly here let us read this lab contains an sql injection vulnerability in the product category filter the results from the query are returned in the application's response so you can use an union attack to retrieve data from other tables okay the database contains a different table called users and column called username and password so we don't have any work like we don't have to identify the table names and the column names here it is already specified to solve the lab perform an sql injection union attack that retrieves all usernames and passwords and use the information to log in as the administrator user okay let us quickly log into this uh, i mean access this lab we have opened the lab and here let us go to lifestyles just like that any of the tab available here and yeah we have four uh, different rows available but now as a basic check we need to understand how many columns are there in this okay union select null and this gives an internal server error this means we have we don't have only one column in this let me put one more null okay sorry too many views uh one more null and two hyphens at last yeah this means we got the successful response this means that we have two columns in this particular uh, response i mean in this particular uh, lifestyle response and next uh, we need to understand which column uh, is capable of handling a string so let me put a here in this first null it gives an internal server error this means uh, this particular uh, column first column is not capable of handling uh, strings so let us give the same in the next column and see if if at least that column is capable yes it is capable this means so this is the first column and this is capable i mean this is the second column and this is capable of handling strings as the a is displayed here okay and just like that we already have these details right from the table name is users and the column name is username and password let's say let's say we can directly give it here uh, just like username from user is it users or user yes it is users so this is how it is and let me hit enter mm, yeah we got the user names here if you can see okay and let me put password here and yeah we got the password as well from that users table and but we are not sure for which username which pass which is the password okay so in this particular scenario as this we cannot replace this null with any of the in a table name because this is not capable of handling strings this column this column is not capable and this column is only capable so we want both username and password to be in the same column so for that we need to we need to do some kind of concatenation uh, let us go to the hint here so it says refer to the cheat sheet we have already pinned this cheat sheet and in the first very first thing we can see that string concatenation so here it says oracle my microsoft all these databases are there and this is definitely not an oracle one i can definitely say because 
uh, in the initial uh, uh, payload what we have given just union select null comma null there we did not specify any table name and oracle if we did not specify any table name oracle is going to give as an internal server error because it won't accept any query without a table name but microsoft postgresql and mysql does accept a request from i mean accept a query without a table name it's okay for them for these particular databases okay this means this is not an oracle database okay i am leaving about this oracle for now and let us see postgresql or this one so let us go with this postgresql just like that and we will plan to uh, give this uh, here like we will uh, give username here and we will give password here and we will uh, give double pipelines in between okay and all this is only in place of password because uh, only one i mean in the second column only this column is capable of handling strings okay just type in username and pipeline hit enter uh, i think we got yeah we got the username and password uh, here it is pretty clear because administrator we already know that this particular user this is the particular username but in real time uh, we uh, let's say if you take this we cannot understand if this t is belongs to username or not or if it belongs to password so this uh, in this case uh, we can plan uh, let's say if you consider this we don't know until where the spelling is i mean where to consider the username or where to consider the password from where okay in these cases we can also uh, give one more uh, thing something like we can divide it uh, just like add a plus here and yeah anything uh, let me give this slash here and plus double pipeline let me hit enter and see if we get the right yo we got it so this means this until here this is a username and from here this is the password for more clarity let me change change this to uh this okay yeah here yeah perfect this is perfect i guess see so this way we can get all the things and we can log in so just before logging in let us try the other syntaxes as well we have tried this okay but let us take this one let us see how it is uh, uh, you know working on this i don't think it will work because let us see anyhow and let me put a concatenation here and hit on enter so yeah obviously this this will give an internal server error because uh, it looks like this is a syntax something like because uh, here there is no difference for from this from and this password so this should not be the case so so here let me give this uh, the same double pipeline and just this one and again double pipeline and hit enter let us see are we going to get this yeah we are going to get this and this is the username and password let me copy the password first because we don't get this password again uh, okay i'm logging in into my account and just pasting in the password here anyway here we can give this and yeah login yo this says congratulations you have solved the lab so this is how you can solve uh, i mean you can concatenate uh, uh, two different uh, uh, values in one single column
that's all thank you for listening and have a great day